it's Belgium Kim and we are at New York City Pride. It is the world's second largest pride parade, only second to Brazil's Sao Paulo Pride. There are tens of thousands of people expected to march in the parade, myself included, and there are millions of spectators here to watch the parade and celebrate love in all of its forms. We are taking you inside the march down Fifth Avenue, ending in Greenwich Village, passing the famous Stonewall Inn, where the gay rights movement started in the 1960s. Check it out! This is where we can amplify our voices, make ourselves known. I'm marching for LGBTQ, everyone who yes. is too afraid to come out or can't come out. I'm marching for everyone who's, who loves. That's it. I'm marching for literally everybody. It's a day for everyone to be just proud of who they are. Most of my friends are LGBTQ, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, this and that. You know, like I know a diverse range of people and I'm marching for all of them. I just think everyone should just be proud of themselves on this day. Jack Sessions just passed down that victims of domestic violence were no longer allowed to claim political asylum, which is unfortunately, depending on how that could be ruled, could, be, uh, could end up hurting LGBTQ teens around the world who are ostracized from their own families. How do you feel about that? It's been since the beginning of America to accept people without regard of their religion and to say, come into our country, we will protect you. There's a separation of church and state that should be here, and we, we're going to accept you no matter who you are. And to say all of a sudden that, no, you're you going to be criminalized and even like put to death in your country because of something that we would accept you here for, why? Why are we doing that? That doesn't make sense. And I, I, I really hope that in some way, in some fashion, I mean, primarily by voting in November, uh, that we're going to be um, reversing that and, and making a change. It's going way too far. I think, you know, aside from Donald Trump being someone who just says very racial and like insensitive things, we lost the sense of humanity in this country. And at the end of the day, we're all human and we all love differently, we all express differently, and we should all have the right, whether we're gay, straight, black, white, Puerto Rican, we should all have the same right. And we should all be able to do the same things as everybody. This administration is cruel, and that's another example of how cruel they can be. Every policy that they try to establish will eventually influence affect our community. So that's why even if somehow we don't think that's related to us, we, we should still fight with them. I mean, I think if anyone's in an unsafe situation and there's a safe place that, that, that could protect them from this unsafe situation, they should be able to remain there. Now, one of the big things that has happened, particularly for the LGBTQ community under Trump's administration, is that he would no longer allow transgender people in the military. What did you think about it? The first thing I did was start donating to organizations that are fighting that. Um, but you know, any person that wants to fight in our military or be in our military in any aspect should be able to. Um, it's just sad. Honestly, it's just so stupid. Transgender, cisgender, whatever you are, you're still human. Who else? can serve this country better than those people who genuinely have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, you, you, you may not like it. I'm respectful. We're proud of who we are. You know, um, anyone wants to challenge that, you have to get a challenge. I think that's completely ridiculous. I mean, gender has nothing to do with your ability to serve your country or make rational decisions. Whatever you're serving over there is not affected by your gender or, or your sexual orientation or any of these issues that people think seem to get in the way of being able to do your job. But if you're capable of doing the efforts that are required in your position, you should be allowed to have that job. What is your American dream? My American dream is that eventually, hopefully, you know, we'll all be able to come together and realize that we all deserve the same thing. One day we, you know, none of that will matter. Whether your sexual orientation, your racial, you know, um, identity, doesn't matter. We're all humans, we all deserve love, we all deserve care, we all deserve loyalty and honesty. And one day, hopefully, this country will actually represent those things. My American dream is affordable health care, um, equal pay for women. My American dream to grow up have a nice family like everyone else, but to also be happy, as Queen Beyonce has said. If you really love your, you know, your son or your, you know, your family member, who they are, then you'll, you'll stick with them. You'll, you'll be there 100%. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but you got some families that, I mean, when, when they come out, it's going to take a minute to sink in. You know, I ain't going to lie. You know, when my mother found out, she wasn't, she wasn't so happy about that. It's going to take time. You know? yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to continue doing me. I'm from a very conservative country, country where I cannot be who I am. So I'm here seeking for a better life. But um, I want something more than that. I want to give back. I want to be a professor in the future. I'm, I'm doing my master and eventually I want to do my PhD. Um, and I want the American people to see that people who are coming from all over the world, we are not coming here to take away your job. We are coming, in, we are here to make contributions. Um, because um, the ability to be free and, and to be authentic is a gift. I just wish that one day if I can become an American citizen, I can go. Um, that would be a wonderful, wonderful gift for me and I would do everything I can to give back to you. My American dream is to live fast, die young, and leave the world a better place than I found it. <laughs> okay, Brad Squad, we saw amazing outfits, beautiful colors, but above all, an outstanding celebration of love. Until next time, Brad Squad.